everyone welcome back to the channel this is jk speaking and today we are taking on a new series and it will be city skylines 2 i've been waiting for a very long time to play this game i bought this game in november and today is my very first online recorded playthrough i have maybe around 50 hours of game time with this game so Today will be the very first time that I'll be doing a recording. For this one, I'm thinking of doing a city in a vanilla map. So I'm thinking Sunshine Peninsula is a great map since we have a lot of flat land here. Uh, so we can probably do that. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just go for Sunshine Peninsula for now. Um, we'll name the city... You know what? Let's name it for now as JK. JK. And we'll put it it's not, uh, North American. And then I think that's it. Um, so yeah. So I'm back in the game. I just adjusted a couple of settings for Lumina, just so things look a little bit better. Um, so I'm still adjusting a couple of settings here, but this should be good, right? It, it looks a lot better than the first one. So let's start. So looking at the map, I have all the tiles unlocked. The good thing here is we have rail. We have water over here for our uh, water production and sewage. So that's good. We also have an outside connection here. So to start off, I'm thinking of just doing a basic, uh, a basic road layout. So looking at this, I'm thinking of going from this branching out to two sides and then having some four lane road over on this side so what I'm thinking is just so I can show you is that I'm looking for a way to have a road go from here to here right so I think that's too far so maybe going from this side to this side something like that now this will be our main road now this one i want to connect to my four lane road so what i can do is i can use the curve road tool go for a 180 split so let's go for a 104 and then curve right there and let's do the same on this one 104 and curve like that now we can turn this back like that and then convert the middle the middle area to a two-lane road so i'm thinking connect this yeah something like this so this will be two way and this will be one ways okay when we unlock our road tools i would like to remove the pedestrian crossings so yeah that will be the layout for now all right so what we what i want to do is to create um most probably i will create a uh, industrial area over on this side since we have access to the rail but first i think we need to look for the wind directionality so wind is going um this way so what we can do is we can create some sort of industrial area over on this side since this will ensure that pollution is going there instead of going to our, our residential area over here okay so i'm thinking going on this area for our our residential so we can move this back a bit 
and then what I'm thinking is uh, connecting that to just um, a what do you call this a transformer somewhere over in this side but we'll have our homes over on this area okay so for now let's extend this road all right and then let's do some road layouts so first is i want to use the grid so we can go for maybe a 90. let's do this you know what let's go for 96. let's go for another 96 there that's good so far another 96 90 although some zone is getting broken some some cells are getting broken but i think that's good for now okay so now what i would like to do is extend this a bit although this doesn't this doesn't look right um not sure what happened here is this over this could be over right uh eight, six, yeah that's over so let's just fix that the zone the road length was off by a bit so i'm thinking moving Okay, so there we go. I was able to fix that slightly. Uh, I think this is still slightly off, but we'll let that go. Um, now I want to add some alley roads, maybe for um, for this area. That some alley roads for this one. Now it's not perfect, I know, but will make that work so this will be our residential area and as i've mentioned we'll want our pollutants over on this side so i want this to be just a straight line then we'll do the same i will create a grid over on this area maybe larger lots if, uh, maybe we could go for 120 over here and another 120 there so that one now i also want to put uh since we have a fertile land here i'll probably put a farm over on this side and a an extraction site over on this near the mountain okay so what we can do is have a singular road go up now since i want to have 
Is that ore mining? No, I need ore. Sorry. So I would probably just set up a... Oops. I would probably set up a farm over on... Somewhere over here. So maybe we can do something like this. Where it goes out. And then have a farm. So we need green. Green farming. So for green farming, we want... Um, we definitely want the fertile land. And I want to make sure that we get... Um, we maximize uh, the land that we have as well as well looking it looking good so we can go for 90 over here and can I get uh, snapping I don't think I can but I can go for here up until here oops we can end here and finish there right so that one and then I want a gravel road over there then moving on to this okay so now we have our um, farm over here over there now I also want to create a poultry area although we don't need any uh, fertile land for this so this can go anywhere I want so I can probably do something like this and then do something like very similar or we can go for a different route maybe we can do something like that maybe something like this this over here And then we can leave a bit of a space there then we can put our road going the main road okay so i think that's good we we will design this when we get to it in the future but the last thing i want to add is a um is a forestry area so we can have a forestry area over on this side so let's put um what do you call this forestry over here maybe something like that well before we do that i want to plant trees so maybe we can go for oak oak oh this is london plain then we'll have a variety of it then we can paint it right i need the strength to, to be higher okay oak where is oak let's do oak this will be our forestry area birch And then a little bit of hickory okay so this will be our forestry area so what I want is to extend this over to this side then this area as well then want to extend that a bit like that I want this to go down here and I think that's good enough right so we can extend this for a little bit more and then have the same gravel road from uh, the industry right so we have here our industry we have a forest area we have a livestock here and then we have a farm the only thing I don't like is, oh, I didn't notice the offset, but we'll leave that. Uh, the only thing I don't like is everything is on here, but 
if we are planning to build a huge metropolis over on this side of the map right to the water uh, we can afford to have our industry on this side so we can also have access to the trains okay so before i forget i would like to extend the road maybe up to over on this side and then i'll extend the power lines i'd like to extend the power lines over here maybe and then i want a transformer on this area that we can connect but i also want some wind turbines thing is wind turbines are not good over here as you can see it doesn't generate as much wind as we want so this is not an option for us maybe a small core coal power plant is better and we can add it over here is it realistic to have uh the farm over here but i think we'll just go for that and then we can have the power line under the road maybe so just that or wait uh, i don't want to move this but can i use move it this is cheating but i can probably move this around here maybe and have a dedicated lane for um the power plant something like this <laughs> some kind of uh transfer transfer fever roading but i guess this can still work right now i want the power line to go just to just go underneath and connect to that and i think that should work why is it not why is it still showing power line is connected power line should be connected um this is also connected to the road so i think that's just an error that's showing up for now i also want a water fountain now for starters i want a small one that i can connect to my road and then lastly i want a sewage outlet i think i can fit it like this and then just go straight connect it to a road okay so i think we're all set we have power we have i uh, just need to lower the budget where is that uh, let's lower that all of it are should be lower okay and tap says we can go 12 12 and 12 okay so i think we'll start zoning so that we can start getting people going in this place what i'm thinking is putting smaller residential areas on the third row uh maybe even the second row of houses since we're starting out but in the future i'll probably expand or upgrade all these homes into um, medium density houses i also want to have um businesses over here all right i think that will do for now and then i want many many industries oops what is happening here water overload so i think i need to increase the capacity here let's go for 70 percent um let's see the city statistics water we're consuming fifteen thousand. what well maybe because of the big services uh the big industries so we can probably go for 100 percent that doesn't that's not enough 
I think I need to build one more. Now, I need to be careful with that since that could ruin the uh, water quality of everything. I can probably move that and still be connected. No? <laughs> okay. Now, I think that should be enough for water. Is it? Let's fast forward. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay, now that everything is filling up, I'm thinking of putting a little bit of row homes here. So we'll have row homes. All right. So that should give us a little bit of um, help in addressing the demand. Okay, so commercial demand is going down. Let's play this on three speed. Now, looking at this, we also need... Um, we will probably need death care and health care in the future as well as um, landfill. So for now, I'm thinking of doing the advanced road services. And I want to remove junctions that we don't want on our main intersection so we don't want people crossing here and then we absolutely don't want any uh, traffic lights okay not even stop signs <laughs> okay so we're good so far um so before we put any services down i'm thinking the first issue that we see is the first service that we will put um so yeah we definitely need more people to come in since we're losing three thousand every month but we will slowly get there i believe we can recover from this once everything settles in uh okay i just have to fix that so once uh people move start moving in i think we can still get um our money up upwards so let's do this and maybe we can fill this up with um medium density housing so row housing what's happening there are we having an overload? Is this still not connected? What? The end of the electricity cable is not connected. Oh, shoot. What? How did that happen? And this one... I'm not sure what's, what's the issue here. But I guess we need to connect this to the road. Okay, so that should be good. We are, the negative amount is slowly going down. Uh, this is also going up. Everything looks fine for now. I guess we continue expanding our roads. Can we still build grids? Uh, let me see. Can I go for another 96 here? Probably not. Might ruin. What's happening there? Um, let's go for 96. Okay. That looks great. Another 96. And another 96. Now, I'm not planning to just build grids in the future. I'm looking to build, you know, some sort of gated community that we uh, can have probably somewhere in this area with um, curvy roads, not like, not, not just grids. Um, but uh, as, start, as a starting place, I think grids are the best option since it is definitely flexible more flexible than 
other options. You know, what I want is to have this sort of move there. And then let's have this connect there. All right? So something that ends the grid, the grid system. And then we can have this go maybe here. Oops. Let's just do a straight one and then connect this to here. Okay. Now this one will be something of a maybe a service building will be put here since it's central. But maybe that will be the best uh, option that we can do for that area. Okay, so here let's zone. Let's continue zoning the medium density housing. For this, I can already start zoning a bit more. We can probably keep clean up the houses, but I like seeing that these houses have different sizes. I know it doesn't look that great in the in the game, but I think that's a little bit more realistic. Uh, just for me. Uh, so yeah, before we end this video in the future, maybe we'll do, we'll build a little bit more. Maybe if we can reach the second, uh, milestone and then build the services before we end, I'll definitely do some detailing. I'm not a great detailer. I'll just want to put more trees on this area. Maybe, um, or, um, adjust the surfaces of the buildings that we already have. But yeah, I'm planning to do that. Also, at the moment, they are waiting for a hearse. So I'm thinking, is building a cemetery really necessary at the moment? Maybe yes. So what I'm thinking is adding some sort of a road going down. And then putting a cemetery on this side. Okay, we've reached the second milestone. Uh, I'm planning to uh, put a road around the cemetery, but I believe this has upgrades, so I don't think that's the right. I don't think that's the right way to do it. But we'll do this for now. Um, let me check again. That's a huge amount of land. So maybe we need just to need uh, extend this a bit like this. Uh, I'll check again. This fits three more cells. So we can take that away up to there. Check again. Oh no, a bit more. Uh-huh. So I think here, is that right? Okay, so that's the correct one. So we'll continue going down and connecting it. Okay, so that will be reserved for a cemetery. Um, we do have a lot of demand now for. Um, we have a lot of demand for our people, uh, for our residential, but we're seeing her uh, waiting for an ambulance. So I'm also thinking of putting a small clinic. Not the medical clinic, but a small one. Um, for our people, I'm thinking putting it maybe somewhere over here. Yeah. I think that's a great central location. If any emergencies on these areas uh, happen, the ambulance can go there. So I think that's good. I just have to adjust my budget for health. Oh, it's already there. Okay, so the next one, oops, wait, we do have uh, things that we can add. I can probably do crematorium, but since we already have this, we don't. We can hold up for, uh, on that for now. I, I'm looking for parks, but I think that unlocks at milestone 4, so I don't think we can do that on this video. 
but since we already have that we could probably add some schools too but i'm thinking of adding a uh landfill on maybe somewhere over here where things are quite far from the main city so i think adding a landfill here and then going straight having some sort of a trapezoid right like that okay so we are having water problems i don't know if i need to add or do i need do i just need to adjust the water we are already at 100 percent and we are currently producing 30,000. So I can probably add one more tower. Maybe over here, right? It doesn't hurt to have a water tower here since the upgrades will be here. I think that also makes this area uh, reserved for the cemetery. But it doesn't make sense that the water is still at 100%. So let's go for around 80%. I think that's enough buffer. Now, let's continue zoning. I'm thinking of zoning more smaller uh, houses over here and over here. But since this one is quite central, right? Uh, we'll probably have a park here and a little bit more services on this area. I think that having more row homes here is uh better since this will be high value land since it's near the services so i think that's good i also want to have a, some tall buildings as far as i know uh the medium density housing means uh if you put this one they would be taller than the row houses but they will also be just as tall as the size that they are so for example if i put a where can I put this one? Uh, maybe here. If I put a tall building, a medium density building there, although we don't have any demand, that will be small in height compared to if we put a uh, what do you call it? An eight an eight cell building. So that should be smaller. We all have we still have a little bit of industrial demand, so I'm thinking of adding maybe a row of factories over here i think uh the last thing that i need to do is add a small elementary school now adding a school probably means uh that i need to so this one doesn't have any upgrades so i'm thinking the elementary school could probably go here maybe a little central right can that go there I, can, I think i can move it a little bit so it can be more central something like that right uh it's central to this a road so i think that's good right we have we do have uh everything set to 50 percent except for water I think we just keep on playing since we are getting more demand for people um yeah, we can we can put some parks over in this area later but we will have more tall buildings there and even more here okay now to end the video i think we'll just do some detailing maybe i can do a just a quick time lapse on that but yeah we'll just put um more trees in this area and then design some tree linings over here
okay we're back and yeah i guess i'll just show you what i did so i did some tree lining over here in the farm over also in the livestock area and over in the city entrance we added some lines of trees and the middle one for where the water tower is found uh what i also forgot to do is add more trees i said i'll be adding more trees in this area i don't want so anarchy should be turned off i just wanted you know to have a little bit of foliage on this area and then add hickory i hope in the future we can have you know a selection of trees i'm not sure if that's already here oh this one oh yeah we already have that option so just that we, i just want to see more trees here and then a little bit of oh sorry a little bit of wide wild deciduous it just looks plain without trees right so i want to see that just a little bit and then some bushes let's uh put that at a little higher um strength I just that i just wanted to see more trees um but i guess yeah that's it um as i said i'm not i'm not the best when it comes to detailing and stuff but so far i think so far so good we've established a city over here with some tall buildings in the middle i also although i do want to end this episode with more in the central area <laughs> just because it looks kind of empty right if that's not fully um built on so since we have more demand i'm just gonna fill this one up a uh, little bit more here a little bit more here and i'm planning also to put a police station but it's hundred thousand so i don't think i can afford that expense at the moment yeah we'll just wait for this to fill up and then we'll definitely end the episode there we don't have much demand for a commercial so that's also one thing that i'm looking at uh-huh now oh, i would like to fill that one up okay so again, I guess this is a good place to end the episode. Um, we we did establish a new city. Uh, we are already at around 2,000 population. We have three industries, special industries here. We have our industrial area over there. And we have our residential and commercial area here. We already have a medical clinic, a school and soon we'll have a police station and other stuff so yeah as i mentioned that's it for now thank you guys for watching and tuning in i hope you like this video if you do please consider leaving a like subscribe and a comment on what you want to see more or what i can improve on but that's it everyone thanks for watching and see you in the next one jk here signing off bye